Hi everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Confessions of a Paper Attic. That was a photo of the cut file I'm going to be using, which is called the Floral Half and Half. It's one of the beautiful um, cut file releases for Valentine's Day, and I was super excited to work with it. Now with these really delicate um, cut files, I always struggle with the little pieces getting stuck in the holes. So this is my answer to fix that. So I just take some of this purple tape. Painter's tape also works. However, I like to take a little bit of the extra stick off uh, with the back of my hand before I use it on my cut file so that I don't end up shredding or ripping my cut file. But you just take the tape and you rub it on kind of over where those little tiny bits are. And then you can see they come out nice and clean. Another good uh, trick is to kind of flick it to get um, the little extra pieces out. So I'm going to be using some Vicky Booten watercolor markers here and I am just kind of painting or coloring in the floral pieces on this. Um, I'm not worrying so much if they run together or if I you know don't perfectly color in the flower petals all just right um, because you know it's just supposed to be soft and pretty in the background. Um, as you can see I use a Cricut mat. I have a silhouette but I use a Cricut mat and this is the I'm going to say this wrong Nikipa um, brand. It's available on Amazon and I think you get two or three for like nine dollars. Um, I just cut down my mats so that they are the size of a silhouette mat otherwise you will have cutting problems. Um, but I prefer them because I think it's the added thickness of these mats really help uh, your machine cut nice and clean. So I'm just mixing a bunch of colors together using all of these different ones. Um, they're all of the pink colors and I do use the red here as you can see uh, from the Vicky Boot and Watercolor marker set. Um, and like I said, I'm not worried about if I'm getting it in perfectly. I did not gesso my paper. So once it's cut out like this, it holds up pretty well. It doesn't really curl up. And the little bits that do curl up, I'm fine with because it looks like um, kind of added dimension or whatever. So I, I, I'm i okay with that because I can't pop this up on fun foam. And I don't want to back it. So this is just a, a good answer for that. Now this is two of the same cut file. I just flipped one of them horizontally and then I put them together so that they are about, I think they're about 11, like 0.6 inches wide. Um, and then I welded them together. The weld, what it does is it takes out all of the extra cut lines. So if you took two cut files and layered them over the top, each cut file would cut out so basically I would end up with two pieces where that center portion where all those florals are would have been butchered because they would have cut over each other. If you weld them it takes out those extra cut lines so that it makes it into one piece. So that's kind of the difference between like creating a compound path um, versus welding or grouping versus welding is you're not going to get the extra cut line so it creates one piece. <clears throat> so now I'm just using the green colors that come in the markers to color in the leaves a little bit here. Again not being super careful just kind of finding the white areas and painting them. Um, making sure that I'm trying not to cover you know the floral pieces with the green but I'm not worrying about going on to the heart piece because I am going to be um, covering that up so you'll see what I mean here in a minute. I do like to use my Cricut mat as kind of a art, art mat because it's a big you know slab of plastic so it works perfectly and then you can just wipe it clean and if it stains who really cares it's just your cover to your cric Cricut mat so it's just a you know dual purpose for this one piece. I also like to use the flip side of the Cricut mat if I have to use my X-Acto knife. Um, so I just use it like a cutting mat too. So it's definitely one of my most versatile pieces in my craft room. So now I'm going to use this gold metallic um, Sharpie marker. And it's not Sharpie. It's whatever the Walmart brand is. And it is 
it's a really good marker. It's nice and kind of juicy and so it covers really well. And I'm just going over the fl uh, heart outline and that covers up anywhere that the um, paint kind of went over. And I'm going to be using a lot of uh, pieces from Indigo and Ivy, the Pink Paisley collection. I'm using this paper, which is paper number eight from that collection. And I love how that turns out. Look at how pretty that is. And I really like it against that wood grain background too. It really helps it pop out. So I just have this photo of me and my youngest daughter. And we are on some hay bales at the pumpkin patch. And I backed it with um, a piece of like pink watercolor paper from the Indigo and Ivy collection and then this other pink piece of paper that I had out. Um, I was debating on using that as my background but felt it didn't make my cut file stand out enough so. Now here I just used some ATG right on my background in that center area where my photo was going to be to help glue down my cut file and now I'm just going to use some Tombow Mono Multi and stick the rest of it down. It did break when I pulled it off my mat because I was impatient and I did not go slow enough um, so I'm just gluing that back together. And I'm not gluing every little piece like that's not necessary you just need to glue enough pieces that it's going to adhere to the page so I just kind of go over some of the bigger areas now I'm using some um, gold thread, metallic thread, and I of course have glue on my fingers so it's sticking to my fingers and not where I want it, but I have these uh, white puffy stickers with gold kind of scribble, gold metallic scribbles on it from uh, Pink Fresh Studio. I think it's called Up in the Clouds, and so I thought they went really well. And this actually is a pretty simple layout because I really love the florals and I didn't want to cover anything up. So um, I'm just going to add a few pieces here and there. And I stick, pr I think pretty much everything I add is gold. So adding a few sequins here. And then I'm going to add that title, which is wonderful. I'm going to pop it up on some fun foam since my photo is popped up. Um, it wouldn't sit nicely, so. And it takes me a minute to figure it out. I don't want the fun foam stacked on top of the picture. I want it under the picture, so. Um, and I just use the cheap craft foam from Walmart, and it's the adhesive-backed stuff. I prefer that. I find that it a little bit thicker than the non-adhesive back stuff and it has adhesive on it so you know it really helps you out here because <laughs> otherwise you'd have to glue it wait for the glue to dry before you could add more glue to stick it down so it just it works really nice and I wanted that to overlap the picture just a little bit and I stick it all down and then realize, uh, yeah, that's not where I wanted it. So I had to move it over. And I have these little gold word phrases also from Indigo and Ivy. And I'm just um, putting some ATG across the back. You can't really see because the only places that are see-through are the letters. And they're so tiny, you can't really see if see the ATG. So, And these are weird. So... You know how a lot of acetate pieces will have that kind of clear film over them? These have the clear film on the back, which I thought was really strange. So I had to peel it off because it was coming off on my ATG gun. Now I'm just taking another piece of thread and I have um, a gold heart that was in the collection and I put a little gold bow. That bow is from Amy Tangerine. Um, Oh, I can't remember which collection, but it's one of the little leatherette bows, and it's gold. So I just stack that on top of the heart, and now I'm going to stick down a couple more of those pink fresh hearts and some more sequins, and that's going to be my layout. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, if you aren't already part of the Facebook group, you definitely want to go over and join that. Um, in March, we're having a big celebration, so you don't want to miss out on all of the fun that's going to be going on. Um, and don't forget to head to the Etsy shop and pick up some cut files because they are gorgeous. Virginia is really just cranking them out and doing such an amazing job. So you don't want to miss out on any of them. Um, 
that are available in the shop. I'm just adding some gold acrylic paint that I watered down and then that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye!